Baby, new jeans have been in my head all morning, and yet I can't really remember what this song I just heard sounds like. But fear not, guys, because the music videos have a storyline. <laughs> Who cares what the song sounds like, am I right? Oh. Hi, welcome. My name is Angelina, and today we're going to be reviewing new jeans pre release track ditto which features two music videos so i thought we could sit down and analyze the music video which is so rare usually i have to do a music video reaction otherwise like i'm like there's nothing to say about this music video there's absolutely nothing <laughs> but because it's new jeans and because you guys have been telling me that they have storylines in their music videos i changed the format once again i already watched the music videos i'm just gonna tell you what i think is going on and then share my thoughts as well as your thoughts as well in the end so if you're interested then please keep on watching don't forget to like comment and share this one with friends share your friends i need some so yeah share them please don't forget to like comment and share this video with friends you don't have just as a preface shall we say to this review i feel like adore sucks at promoting new jeans when i went to search for teasers of this i couldn't find them like i wrote like new jeans and like nothing popped up not a teaser nothing you know sure maybe if i would have wrote new jeans teaser anyways they're hiding these teasers on Hybe's YouTube channel, which I I kind of get because they have more subscribers. But then like when I'm looking at New Jeans channel trying to look for teasers, I can't find anything. When I go on their Instagram, it's just a bunny cake. Like what, <laughs> what does it mean? So I'm like, is it actually coming out today? Like it says the 19th pre-release ditto, but like, is it actually coming out today? It feels like there was nothing surrounding it, nothing to hype it up, which is insanely similar to the way that they debuted. I think like they just came out of nowhere. So I do think they're making the effort to put teasers. It's just like, where are they? I have to fucking dig, dig, dig to find them. But I digress. Basically, we have side A and side B music video versions, which I think is so cute. I recently just rewatched the first like two seasons of 13 Reasons Why with Audrey. Don't ask me why. We were just curious about the things we didn't remember. But thanks to that experience, it's now very fresh in my head that cassette tapes used to have like side A and side B. So by naming their music videos, you know, side A and side B, it's so cute. It's really retro, really fits into their theme, which tends to be like... 90s early 2000s right i just wanted to point that out i think it's so cute that they've effectively titled the music video side a and side b as if it were a cassette tape that you yourself are, are like turning around i don't know how that works <laughs> i'll be really honest <laughs> and i don't for a second believe that they understand either so let's move on but let's get into the music videos, of course, naturally starting with side A. This music video starts off with someone opening a box, and within the box we see some bunnies and tapes, which definitely sets a retro tone to this music video. We see the person swiping off the, the dust from the tapes to then put it into a machine that really doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Plotline hole, though. I don't remember VHSs ever having side A and side Bs. Like, if you had a long movie like Titanic, you would have two cassette tapes, and you can't flip them. I'm not trying to cause any shit, but I feel like there's a little bit of a plot line hole there, but anyways. We end up seeing some shaky footage of the members at school with some random clips of places thrown in there. I personally love the old-looking footage type thing. When I went to Toronto, actually, to see 17 I brought a little thrifted camera, and I was, like, filming everything, and the aesthetics were just so amazing. You can edit it to look like that, but it's just different when it's, like... You're actually filming it with something from the past, but anyways. All that to say, I think it's really cool. From there, however, we're welcomed into this world. So at first, we're watching somebody watching videos, but then the perspective changes and we actually see who's behind the camera. We see the members practicing some choreography and we end up catching a guy playing basketball staring at them. Then there's this really uncomfortable scene. Maybe it's just me, let me know. But then the mysterious girl in the storyline goes to drink water out of a water fountain and she doesn't move her hair out of the way. Like her hair is just stuck in like regurgitated spit. She's gonna get salmonella. <laughs> All jokes, obviously, but it is an opportunity to have them meet eyes because the guy comes and drinks out of a fountain as well. It's supposed to be very like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and not to bring down the mood once again, but uh, the last time I drank at a fountain was not too long ago. I found a fountain and I was drinking at it. And the one thing I kept on thinking is I hope no one looks me in the face because my... <laughs> It's not a natural way to drink water. Like you cannot look cool and drink out of fountain. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. They strategically don't show their mouths at this point. But <laughs> it's just interesting how they try to make it romantic when in the back of my head, I'm like, 
no <laughs> hair in the water and staring at your crush like <laughs> Moving on. But I do love the videography of it all. I like how it's not super linear and then you just have like random clips that really add to the rawness of it all. But from there, we eventually do get into the song, which talks about the feeling of liking someone and wanting them to feel the same way back. Like, I like you, so say it back without playing any games. <laughs> not gonna lie, I didn't expect the ratatatas, but here we are. I just figured this song is like so soft. Like you expect ratatata in pink venom in that one one a song i'm just saying it feels a little bit more hardcore but back to the storyline we have this mysterious sixth girl who is like always following them around and filming them like she's almost living vicariously through them but when we do eventually see her not in back of the camera she ends up painting a member's pinky nail pink and then all the members are signing her cast we do pause temporarily for a random scene where she's locking eyes with the deer in the snow but then we see all of them falling asleep on this couch for only the mysterious girl to wake up on her own and suddenly we see that it was her pinky nail that was painted pink and there are no signatures on her cast it gives off this vibe that like she invented them or something like they were in her imagination and we go through the music video once again from a different perspective and we see she was really filming no one and the people who are staring weren't staring at the members dancing but rather at this girl who is awkwardly filming them. This change of perspective eventually brings us to her going out and walking in the rain while holding an umbrella to her side. So she's she's getting wet, like she's getting her cast wet. Can you do that? I don't I've never had a cast, but I feel like you're not supposed to get it wet. Though it does feel quite meaningful because she has this tool by her side to help her keep her dry, to help her keep her safe, to keep her cast dry. You know, like medically she sh she should have that umbrella over her head but she has it by her side and she walks into the rain and gets wet so i feel like there could be many interpretations to that so let me know what you think as for me i'm gonna keep going into side b and see how it all connects we start this music video with more or less the same clips we see members running through the school then just empty spaces and now that we know the context from side a we can infer that we're seeing clips that she filmed of the members but the members weren't actually there now i'm not sure if they're ghosts or they were actually her friends at one point and they had a falling out and this is just like her reminiscing on the past that she wants to erase but she sees her crush walk out onto a balcony and she gets really upset and she runs away with the members kind of staring at him judging but they don't follow her to be honest though she's a lost cause she has no game she just stands there awkwardly filming her crush like i'd be creeped out too not that i've not done that before I have some fucking stories, guys, but we're not going to get into that right now. But of course, there's still like so many clips of the members doing choreography. I feel like they had to add that in there. Like it's obligatory. We're in fourth gen. We can have storylines, but we're not going to forget the dancing. God forbid. There is a part, however, where she's not actually filming them, but they're dancing. She's just watching from far. And it makes me wonder if the ghost theory is real or maybe they were all friends at one point. Because in this clip in particular, she's not the the pov she's not the one filming them they're just dancing on their own without her i don't even know that they can see that she's looking at them after all that our mysterious girl does end up throwing her camera off a roof which i feel can almost be interpreted into this erasing time because now when we're looking at the vhs it's blank so it's like by throwing the camera off the roof she erased the past or maybe the video was just over, I don't know. <laughs> but I do feel as though we're kind of going back in time and changing things because now when she walks out into the rain, she has her umbrella over her head this time and the members are actually behind her watching her walk away. We also see that she's getting a phone call from Minji, but the girl seems too upset to answer, which leads me to think they had a falling out rather than the ghosts, though ghosts are pretty fucking cool. From there, we meet the deer once again, but this time she's inside the school and they lock eyes. But then we see two figures walking away and then so does the deer. Now I'm not sure if the mysterious girl is the one walking away with the guy or it's one of the members, hence the falling, the potential falling out. However, it all ends by coming into almost a perfect full circle. We are met with the first scene of side A where she is watching the tape and then the past comes into the present. So she's watching a tape of the past, but then the past comes into the room and she's filming them again and we're suddenly within the tapes again. We're not watching the tapes, we're in the tapes now. And then it ends there, so I'm really curious what it means. What does it all mean? Are they ghosts? Did they just have a falling out? Are they playing with time, actually? So I'd love to hear your thoughts. I think there are many interpretations that can be made. As for the song, though, my official review of this song is that 
I didn't, I didn't hate it. I by no means hated it. It's very smooth. It's very new jeans. But just like the rest of their songs that I've listened to, when it comes to hearing it for the first time, it's nothing special to me personally, but they do end up growing on me. Like I have <laughs> constantly have hype boy in my head. So yeah, I do appreciate that it's not too busy. So I think it would be easier to grow on me, but those are my thoughts. So now let's actually go take a look at your comments. So I asked you guys in my community tab, what you thought of Ditto. So let's take a look and see if there's any discussions to be had. Amazing, they're definitely a breath of fresh air in the industry. The vocals are beautiful, the music video is stunning. I do agree, the vocals are, are quite ethereal and so smooth and I like them. It's just one of those songs you fall in love with because of the music video. The music video is both creepy and nostalgic at the same time and truly captures the feeling of loneliness, yes. I love that, exploring the theme of loneliness within the music video, but I want to know more specifically, what does it mean? Because yes, we can gather that she's lonely, that she's awkward. She may or may not have had a falling out. I want to know the details. So even before the reveal, I knew Hiso was already feeling left out and alone, even though she was surrounded by her friends. I loved it so much. It was it has quite a melancholic yet dreamy and nostalgic feel to it. New Jeans are once again assuring they're the most interesting fourth gen girl group to follow so far. It gave me old school BTS vibes back when they had that long spanning storyline in their music videos. I really missed that in K-pop. Props to the director, they did an amazing job. The song itself is heavenly too. I really enjoyed the song and the vocals. It really brings a kind of mystical and nostalgic energy to the song. I also like that we had side A and side B for the music video. It definitely has an interesting story. Personally, it evokes the feeling of wanting to be with someone by being alone. Oh, interesting. I do agree the side A and side B. I know, I think it was Hype Boy or I don't remember which music video. They had like 10 versions and I'm like, that's... <laughs> That's just, that's a little bit much for me. <laughs> but two music videos I think is perfect. It's like a perfect amount. However, if you want me to go back and review their previous music videos with storylines, I can do that as well. If I have a reason to do it, I'll do it, but I'm not gonna sit there and <laughs> watch all 10 versions. I don't have the patience for that. I'm looking for comments that talk about the storyline. Maybe someone has a theory. Ooh, I think they're gonna be, I think there's gonna be a sixth member. They introduced this character named Hisa and then the and then titled the trailer teaser as six. <gasps> Maybe? That's interesting. <laughs> so <Story> line. <laughs> So yeah, that is basically it for this review. Thank you so much for joining me. If you did make it this far, then leave a bunny emoji. Leave a bunny emoji and a cassette emoji, or I don't know. I don't think that exists, does it? Leave whatever your heart feels like leaving. <laughs> for me i'm gonna get going but don't forget to like comment and share this video with friends you don't have don't forget to tell me what you think of the storyline like what it means specifically what it means to you how you interpret it all that jazz i'm so excited to hear what you guys have to say before i go huge shout out to my channel members who help support my channel on a monthly basis it means the world to me thank you so much for your support as for me i'm gonna get going I, fuck i keep saying that so many times bye <laughs>